my name is Denise. Welcome to my Self Love Loft. As soon as you walk in, you're in my living room slash entryway. I really wanted to make this space feel inviting, but also be functional. So I'm so proud of myself because I made this. This is a shoe cabinet that I made from scratch. And here I have all of my favorite trinkets. And it also helps to start with the vibe of the space. It's very inviting and peaceful and boho, colorful, but pastel-y. Instead of having pictures, I'm not really a picture girl. So instead, I ripped out pages from a book that's really special to me. Someone bought me this book when they believed in me before I believed in myself, so I decided to take my favorite pages, rip it out, and leave it here. Over here is my living room. It's small but mighty. I have this pink couch. This is actually an Ikea hack. If you do not want to spend too much money on a couch, get yourself some Ikea covers. They sell them on Etsy, super affordable. They come in so many different colors. I chose pink velvet and I paired it with all of the colors that you're going to see throughout the whole home. What I did was make sure that I used the same color scheme, but just adapted it per room so that each room can feel separate. This is something that I'm really excited about. This is my flower chandelier slash lamp. Essentially, you can put any type of plants or flowers that you want. They have tubes here that you can put some water in them to keep them alive. And it's an actual functioning lamp, but it has flowers in it. So I'm really excited about that. I love it. And it's perfect because it sits right here where I'm able to cuddle underneath it, read a book and chill. I wanted in here to feel like a rainforest, so I actually color matched one of my plants. I went to Home Depot, grabbed a piece of leaf, and was like, I want plant green. And that's what we did. I decided to go half so that I can make the space look taller. I feel so blessed to have such a big bathroom because my bathroom in Brooklyn growing up was like one third to half of this size. <music> have many plants. This one right here, this is Hope. She has grown, I have went through so many things with her, but I named her Hope because she was what I needed when I first moved in here and when I left Brooklyn. It was a little scary, like my first apartment, leaving Brooklyn, coming to a new space. So she was one of my first babies and she always makes me feel grounded. And then as you come in here, you enter into my kitchen. <laughs> to add extra storage. I've got this spice cart. She's so cute because she's clear, so you don't have to, she doesn't like take up too much visual space. I use it for many different reasons, but my favorite one is like a mini island. One DIY that I have for you guys as a tip, if you have like a really boring kitchen, just change the hardware. It makes such a big difference and just makes it feel more grand, like, such an easy fix. I got them on Amazon and you can also use Backsplash. Also found on Amazon, this is peel and stick and you can never tell. And I was able to just to stick it onto the wall and it adds more texture into the home that makes it feel more cozy and special. Above my cabinets is Claudine and Claudette. They're really special to me because both of these are aunts that has passed, but I just love how my plants actually like take on their vibe and personality. And I made sure to put them up there to utilize the space. I have like 18 foot tall ceilings, such a blessing, but it was just empty and blank up there. So I added a mantle mirror, I added some candles, a painting that brought all the colors into the space. And I really like the way it came out. This is one of my favorite parts of my home. Let's start with the plant. She was, again, one of the first plants that I got and I 
adore her. I use the same color palette throughout my entire home, but I switch it up for the rooms. So here, it's more vibrant, but it's all the same colors. So I wanted to get some kitchenette chairs, some dining room chairs, but I didn't want boring ones, so I got these velvet ones from Overstock and customized them by going on Etsy and getting these like gold chrome legs. They add so much to the space. Next to my plant is my blooming table. I adore this table. It is all live plants. I filled it with succulents and I got it from bloomingtables.com. But what I did was I asked them for longer legs because this is actually supposed to be for like the side of your couch, but I turned it into like a kitchenette dining nook table so that it could work in my small loft space. But it's so pretty. All I have to do is water it once a month and there's a drain underneath if needed, but she's stunning. Brooklyn girl born and raised, but I moved up here to Westchester because I wanted a loft. I wanted the industrial stairs, I wanted the 18 feet windows. This is my first apartment and I didn't want to compromise. I wanted to make sure that I had two floors so that I can separate my space. So down here is the kitchen, living room, my office, bathroom, but upstairs is my bedroom. I wanted this room to feel completely different because it's the darkest room and the most isolated room of the house, but I wanted to go for a vibe that was cozy and more of the muted colors of all the colors that you see downstairs. There are two pieces that just mean the world to me. One is from my TED Talk. This is a picture from my TED Talk that someone really dear to me turned into like a scannable like playlist so that I could feel like a boss bee because that's what it says on it. This was one of the best days of my life. I did a TED Talk on self-love, wellness, and how black women can start a self-love journey to heal an entire culture, and that was just the best day of my life. And next to it is a painting that I think is beautiful, and the vibes is giving black girl magic, and I'm here for it. I wanted like an additional seating area in the home, so I made this space so that every morning I can sit here, have breakfast if I wanted, had tea, journal, vibe, meditate, take care of myself mentally before I start my day and head downstairs. This space means so much to me because I've grown so much here. This is my self-love oasis, my first ever apartment, leaving Brooklyn, coming out here to Westchester, not compromising, getting exactly what I want. This space allowed me to start so many new journeys, so many things, and it means the absolute world to me. The biggest piece of advice for finding your dream apartment is to trust the timing of your life. And my biggest piece of advice for finding beautiful, stunning, memory-worthy pieces would be to look in places that you usually don't think that you will find it. I found almost everything on Etsy and just know that anything could be customized and anything is possible. So try to think outside of the box and use plants as like separations or like room dividers. I use them for different heights. Plant styling can really turn your space into a boring blank wall into something vibrant and fun. by my self-love loft. You can find me on socials at Live Naturally Love for wellness and self-love inspiration. If you're interested in healing and retreats, you can join me at theselflovorganization.com. I hope you guys liked it. Yeah.